to participate in acts of pure self-indulgence, be it drugs, alcohol, sex, or otherwise. <clears throat> well, first of all, I think you have to say it makes a big difference whether it's uh, drugs or sex. Uh, you can't say, what's the right attitude to drugs or sex? <clears throat> But leaving aside uh, the issue of drugs, assuming we're talking about uh, commerce with something that's legitimate, I would say <clears throat> self-indulgence is not the same as selfish pursuit. So is it, is it proper to participate in pure selfish pursuit of A, B, and C? Certainly. But self-indulgence in, in normal uses means uncontrolled, giving in to uh, emotion without grounds, irrational. And if that's what you understand by indulgence, <clears throat> then it's wrong. Uh, it, it's wrong to, uh, to do it. Uh, now, <clears throat> indulgence is not that devastating a word. It doesn't connote absolute necessary immorality. And therefore, on a small scale and with a smile, uh, it's okay to use without implying anything negative morally. Like I wouldn't say, I decided to indulge in philosophy as a career. Uh, that would be casting doubt on the whole morality of my life. But if I say, I'm going to indulge in this chocolate when I'm on a diet, and I say it with a smile, <clears throat> it's like saying, well, I know I'm stretching the, the limit here, but uh, I'm going to let myself have this little liberty. And in that usage, it's fine. But um, I certainly wouldn't use the uh, word that applies to having a chocolate to the word that applies when you're in bed. 